Hey, what's up again, everybody? This is the part three of the Figure Eye Standard tutorial. When I look at this figure, the clothing and the skin are just too shiny. So I'm going to apply some clear flat finish to the figure. Couple places that I do not want to have a flat finish. The hair I was debating to make it shiny or flat. Then I decided to just leave it as is. The eyes I'm going to apply some glossy coats so they look like they are wet. Removing the face so I can pop out the eyes. Removing the eyebrows. So before we apply the flat coatings, we need to prep the surface a bit. If you watch my very first video, I explained the molding process and it's very typical some sort of mold release agent was used to help injecting the runners. The release agent and from touching the figure makes it difficult for any type of coatings to stick. So what I would do is to clean the figure with rubbing alcohol and I prefer to use Kim wipes because the wipes has very little lint. You can typically find these at your eye doctors at the glasses section where they sell glasses cleaner. I'll add a link to Amazon in case you can find it locally. Next, just to be safe, and especially important if you are applying a glossy coat, to get rid of the dusts. I use an anti-static brush so the dusts don't get attracted to the figure. I usually try to do this again right before I paint the figure. Because this kit is already assembled, the joints are especially difficult to get same level of finish. So I usually change the poses in between the coats. I normally use an airbrush. If you have one, that's great. If not, you can use canes. Mr. Hoppy Top Coat. This got pretty popular in the Gundam community. Often you will hear people referring the whole process as top coating. They are different finish. Glossy, semi-glossy, and we are using the matte finish. So top coat is water-based paint. Not as toxic. Easier to strip if you make mistakes, but at the same time it's not as durable. There's also a lacquer version made by Mr. Hobby, the Mr. Super Clear. But be careful with lacquer paint. Should be pretty safe with Mr. Hobby, but in general lacquer solvents are pretty hot. So test on runners first to make sure it's not going to melt or dissolve your kit. Also generally, you do not want to apply lacquer paint on top of enamel or acrylic. Sometimes you can get by with it. When you panel lined, there isn't a lot of paint there. Also, you should always do a couple of light coats first. That prevents the solvent from building up and eating through the paint underneath. So for the faces, you need something to hold the parts. I use alligator clips on sticks. Some brand name stuff are quite expensive for a set of 15 or so. When I build a Master Grey Gundam kit, I'll use 350 to 400 sticks at a time. So I will get a generic bag of 50 or 100 at a time from Amazon. I'll add a link in the description as well. Get a piece of styrofoam and just stick those in there. Have Goku ready to go here. A good distance to spray from is usually 8 to 10 inches away from the figure. Sometimes I get a little bit closer, but I tend to go by the model really quick. It's generally safer to go with lighter coats than heavy coats. Spray from a different direction, again relatively light coat. Change to the back, really quick a light coat first. I like to hold down the nozzle when I spray. Some people like to start and stop each time the can sweeps across the model. And that's fine too, and a probably a better method. The important thing is not to start or stop when the nozzle is aiming at the model. Usually when that happens, the paint doesn't get enough air, so the paint becomes larger droplets or spatter. The can performs the best when staying upright, so you can flip the model around for the underside. I'm going to let the figure dry a bit. While well, I'm waiting, switching over to the faces and hands. A few quick passes. Again from a higher angle. Flip the parts around. Change the pose to make sure you cover all the surfaces. And yet again, go to a special training position. Wait until everything gets dried. Depends how many and how heavy each coat is. But for flat top coat, 4 to 6 hours should be sufficient. Usually glossy coats take longer to dry. For the eyes, I just use my airbrush. Give a couple of glossy coats. So the eyes look shiny like they are a bit wet. Time to put him back together. The shiny eyes came out great. Readjust the pose a bit. Okay, what do you folks think? 
Let me give you a fancier look. And a comparison. A comparison with just the out of the box belt. And it compares them with the end of the tutorial too. Alright, thanks for watching and I'll see you later.